That means out of three trillion budget, about a, a trillion is gone. Is gone. Hmm. So government also needs, as they're thinking of creating wealth, you see, there is enough in this country, there is enough for, this is what I believe, there is enough for everybody's need, mm -hmm. but not enough for everybody's greed. Wow, I love that. No, thank there you. is enough for everybody's need, need but, not, but enough not enough for everybody's, everybody's greed. greed. Yes. Uh -huh. So the government, you see, uh, let's do some bit of maths. I love maths. Eh? Mm -hmm. If you have a billion shillings, you put it in a fixed deposit account. Mm -hmm. This is just one billion. Mm. You put it in a fixed deposit account, and let's assume you get an interest rate of twelve billion. Sorry, of twelve percent. It means every year you'll be given one hundred and twenty million as interest. Mm -hmm. Divide one twenty million divide by twelve months. It's ten million. Mm. By the time you have a billion. You must have your own house, a few cars, right? True. So, imagine every month, you're not touching the billion, but you have 10 million every That's single true. month. Hmm. What are you going to spend this 10 million on? Eating. No. Buy new clothes. No. <laughs> Investing. You can't finish it. Yeah. So, for the people who've already stolen, and now they have these billions, Yeah. See what Toshike do? They just stop there. Oh, they, they become <laughs> content. They just, yes. They should become content with what yes. they have already. You put it in the bank and now you'll be getting your 10 million every month without working for relaxing, it. Relaxing, just, just relaxing. chilling. And now let's build the country. True. Yes, as I said, that, there's mm, enough for everybody's need. But not enough for everybody's need. It is great. Yes. So wow. one thing government needs to do, mm -hmm. parliament needs to do, is to make sure this pilferage, this theft, it has to come to an abrupt stop. Mm -hmm. Because as long as it is there, we will continue suffering. And the people who suffer the most are the youth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly, very true. Yes. And so, when the youth suffer, what happens? Crime goes up. Uh, social vices rise. Mm -hmm. Families become destabilized. And even these rich people, they have to employ more people to secure them. <laughs> because they're not secure anymore. Yes. And even if you are the, the, the rich guy, mm -hmm. the billionaire, you have your kids. Sooner or later, your kids will get out of your, your protected circle. Mm -hmm. And then they'll come and... <laughs> <laughs> so we all need this. We all need this. Yes. For us mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to grow together, one or the other. Yes. Like for the country, mm -hmm. for the economy to be better. Yes. So... Would you say mm -hmm. there's a role for the youths to play? Because all this we'll be talking about mm -hmm. is around the government because they are the core of it. Yes. But now the youth, uh -huh. is there a role that we need to play? Yes and no. Mm -hmm. The youth, uh, you're opening another chapter. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll try and summarize it this okay. way. Yeah? Can touch Let me this. ask you a different question. I'll answer it in the form of a question. Uh -huh. Who makes government? Who votes in government? The people. And the largest part of the voting block are? Huh? The youth. Ah, well, there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's where we make the decision. That's the role that we are playing. That's the role that we are playing. Okay. Um, a few years ago, I think in 1964, mm -hmm. way before many of us were born, mm. uh, Malaysia and Singapore used to be one country. Mm -hmm. But due to political and economic differences, uh, Malaysia decided to do away with Singapore. Mm -hmm. Now, Singapore is one of the countries that have virtually zero natural resources. Completely. Completely. Same as almost Japan. Yes. Now, in 1964, Singapore was a slum. So Malaysia were like, uh, we don't need this slum next to us. Mm -hmm. You guys... We can do without you. We can do without you. Mm -hmm. So the Prime Minister at the time, I can't remember, was it Lee Kuan Yee? He told the people, we have two choices. We either continue with life as we are used to, or we make a radical change. Mm -hmm. So people said we are tired of living ghetto life because it was just a slum. Mm -hmm. Crime was high, prostitution was high, people were poor. Mm -hmm. So he told them, there are two things that we can do. Continue as we are. We are we've been, uh, continue life as, we've been, as it's been. Mm -hmm. And then he went on to explain. What I mean by that is this. When we go to elections, we normally vote in for people who will either give us money, have the gift of the gab, Gift of the gab is... Talking. Yeah, sweet tongue. Sweet words. Uh, sweet words. 
But when they get in parliament, they get in power. Nothing they're doing. Yes. But when they are, they are at the podium with the microphone. Yeah. They seem like they're going to change the world. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Heaven is here at last. So he uh -huh. said, don't vote in for someone because they gave you money. Don't vote in for someone because they have a gift of the gab. Mm. Don't vote in for thieves. Don't vote in for charlatans. In fact, it, in short, he said, if you get the government on the cheap, mm. that is, if you vote this kind of people, mm. you get the government on the cheap, expect to lead a cheap life. Wow. And that's what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. So what do I propose to you? Everybody goes back to their villages, goes back to their wards, goes back to their constituencies. And look for the very best brains that you have. Okay. You don't have to like them. Because you know, nobody <laughs> is blessed with everything. Mm. You can end up being very bright, but maybe socially you are not. You could be a nerd. Mm. Or, yes. But we all know, Stephanie, she, well, if you have a she's, problem, she's just go and talk to her. She'll give you solution. a solution. Yeah? Yeah. Like when it comes to hanging, we don't want her around us. <laughs> she's yeah? not good at she, that. She'll she's not good at company. Up. <laughs> we'll all fall asleep, eh? Sleeping pill, eh? Uh -huh. Yes. So, he told them, you don't have to like them. And not enough for that to tell them, we don't have any natural resources. We have just been divorced by Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So, the only resource we have are our brains. So, let's get the very best of our brains. Mm -hmm. Get them into politics. When they get into parliament, we'll tell them, the only resource we have are our brains. You are the best of our brains. So, do something. So, do something. Wow. I said uh, the GDP per capita for Japan was 40,000. Mm, 400. 458. Mm -hmm. 2019, if I remember correctly, the GDP per capita for Singapore in the year 2019 was 65,830. Okay. 31 to be 0.11 or 0.19, something like that. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, shillings were to uh, multiply by 130 divided by 12, it was coming to about 730,000 shillings. 700. Wow. Yet, they do not have natural Nothing. resources. And us, we are 21,000. We were 21,000 2019. Yes, we are 21K. Hmm. Imagine, I'm at 21K. You are, mm -hmm. With all the resources I have, you are uh, at 700,000 with zero resources. You're only using your brain. Are, our, are we going to live in the same estate? Of course not. Are our kids going to go to the same schools? <laughs> no. Will we shop in the same malls? No. Yet, I've got more resources. Oof. I mean. So when you so see you, me, what mm. will you be saying? Look at this. Your, you'll ask me what's your email address? <laughs> and then you'll expect me to say daphnessisask.com. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well. Welcome to Kenya. <laughs> Welcome to Kenya. Yes. So we need, mm -hmm. we need great minds, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in power. We need to elect the right leaders. No, we are going to a different topic now. But anyway, all I'm simply saying is mm -hmm. identify them from the grassroots, mm. from the ward level, from the constituency level, from the county level. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like them. Mm -hmm. Don't expect them to give you money. Nobody is blessed with everything. So basically, we can choose to continue with life as it is. Give me my 200 bob and my unga, I'll vote you. Mm -hmm. And for the next five years, I shouldn't complain. Or alternatively, we can look for the very best brains that we have. Okay. And then support them to get into power. Mm -hmm. And then we tell them, the next five years, if we have the right people in power, or not necessarily the right people, if the government, for instance, like this thing of coffee, what I was talking about, mm -hmm. if government starts this month of June, normally coffee is harvested, in Kenya we have it twice a year, at least we are lucky, I think around, is it, around May and again in November, December, mm. maybe we may not be able to get the 10 kilos by within a year's time but by december next year we'll be very close to that 10 kilos mm. we have been we'll be somehow. very close to that 10 kilos mm. if not more at least we'll be we'll then we'll not be at two three kilos of course we'll be very close to that mm -hmm. more jobs will have been created and then parliament this month of june or next mm. month they can pass the law whereby the coffee farmer is paid a percentage of the retail market mm -hmm. and then even allow the coffee farmers to pack a process and roast the coffee themselves if they so wish. Okay. You see, you could be a coffee farmer and everyone here else could be a coffee farmer. I'm not a coffee farmer, but I know how to roast. Mm -hmm. So I'll come to Yageshagi, I'll come to your country, in your village, and then we have a public participation. I want to invest. Mm -hmm. Just half an acre is enough. Then okay. I build something. Mm -hmm. Or not only that, 
I can, in fact, if we do this, I can guarantee you, I know what will happen. Mm -hmm. what, what will happen? The Americans and other people out there, they will come to our villages mm -hmm. wanting to invest no, to make those uh, factories to process the coffee so that it's processed the way they want. <laughs> okay. Yes. And then that way, they'll try to see if they can put us in a box to hedge us. Like, I'll make a factory here, I'll process it this way, but you guys will only have to sell to me. Mm -hmm. But as long as the law is there, that whatever, if, if I'm the one who's processing, mm -hmm. whatever I'm selling, 25% has to come to you. Wow. It's a win-win for everybody. It's a win-win. There's no loss. Exactly. Game so, changer. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, if you get the right people, our GDP per capita will quickly rise from 21,000 per person per month. Mm -hmm. to, by the time we reach in 2027, at least we should be about to 300K. 300. Can we imagine oh. 300 <laughs> lose, <laughs> yeah? lose, lose, lose money? Lose money. <laughs> lose money. Yeah? You have 300K in your <laughs> pocket. Yeah? You know? And then Gava tells you, give me 75K. That would be pocket change. That's pocket <laughs> change. Five. I still have my 225K. <laughs> yeah. In fact, even if you remove the 200, <laughs> mm -hmm. I have 25K, more than the 21K. Mm. Yes. Exactly. So it's a win-win. But deliberate decisions need to be made. Mm -hmm. And parliament is the one at the front line. It's the, it's the organ, it's the unit that makes these laws for us. Exactly. So they need to work as one. Not that it is Kenya Kwanza. And then there's Azimio. Then there's Azimio. Uh -uh, it's Kenyans. True. Yes. And... Uh, just to go a bit more, someone might say, this guy is talking about coffee because he comes from Central and coffee grows in Central. Mm -hmm. Coffee grows in many areas. Yes, the Mount Kenya region, it grows, the Abadea. Do you know it also grows in Kisi? Okay. Bungoma. Mm -hmm. Kericho. Mm -hmm. Wait, Kisi is where? Nyanza. Nyanza, yeah. Bungoma? Western region. K Kericho and Nakuru? Uh-huh. <laughs> they? Rift Valley. Rift Valley, yes. yes. Machakos? Mm -hmm. Eastern. Taita? Uh, Towards the coast. Yeah. So basically, those are very, it's almost, it's we've covered. Everywhere in Kenya. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. yes. And then, that's just one crop. Mm -hmm. Suppose you do the same with tea and many others. Yeah. There are many, we'll many myriad of opportunities. But we just choose to be poor. We choose. And just relax. Yeah, we choose not to use our brains. Well, okay. And with that, for not using our <laughs> brains, God, hurrah! <laughs> Get punished, right? You want to, be, to live like fools? Live like a you fool, to, then. So, you want to live like fools? Mm -hmm. Live the life of a foolish fool. Wow. Yes. So, we have all we need. I mean, More than all we need. <laughs> it's just our brains and mm. uh, the right to, pe mm. people to make the right decisions, mm. the people that should. If Singapore, they're leading the lifestyle of 730 shillings per month. Japan, about 400 k They have zero resources. The only resource they have mm. is the brain. brains. Mm. Are you trying to tell me our brains? We weren't created any differently, I mean. <laughs> we are bright, guys. <laughs> we are bright. It's just that our politics, when the Mzungu left us, there's a way he played us. Mm -hmm. And we agreed to get played. And then they left some laws, like some things that don't work well for us. Now, instead of us thinking out of the box, and now thinking what is good for us, mm -hmm. we've just decided... We to confine to ourselves to what we were left and with. Now, and, now, and now we are meaning this box. It's like, now, <laughs> I'm growing fat and fat, and know, I can't... <laughs> see, see, <mama> too. <laughs> There's more space out here. I mean, <laughs> yes. yeah, that's why things are getting harder, because the box is getting smaller yes. for everyone. Yes, and guys are getting broke. And how much more do you have, Stephanie? Mm. I we need it. We need it. Okay. We just need to Amazing. address it. Mm. It's, it's easy. I mean, it's not rocket science. Okay. Yes. Wow. I think I will bring this to a close now. Thank you. But yes. is there any key thing from mm. the whole discussion that mm. you want the viewer mm -hmm. to remain with or someone in government who's listening mm -hmm. in to, to take home? From all this to the government mm -hmm. and reach us first yeah this is your camera oh, that's the camera yes to the government mm -hmm. and reach us kenyans first you will get your taxes basically i've explained what needs to be done so we have plan a plan a is the finance bill as it is structured 
Now we have plan B with Anthony Kerori. I've explained it. Mm -hmm. So let's look at what makes better sense. And when you're making the decisions, there should be no emotion. It's just simple facts and figures. And also what is sustainable and good for the country. Mm -hmm. That is what I will say. I hope the president is watching. If he's not watching, if you're in government or you know the president, see you. Mm -hmm. be a link, eh? yeah, 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 yeah. Share the link. <laughs> you, the, the person in government, as you're watching, or maybe you are a relative or a friend, or you work in state house. Seem to me to link, Mr. President. Apa kuna plan B that can help us work mm -hmm. to the youth. The future is ours. The future is yours. What you make out of it, it's entirely up to you. The decisions you make now will affect your life in the future. So I don't want to get political into about this. So <laughs> we leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, but we say a wise man needs not to be told so many things. Mm -hmm. I believe you've gotten the message. And to the rest of Kenyans, today is World Environment Day. Uh, let's. Uh, uh, this is what I think about the environment. Let's, mm -hmm. not, let's not think so much that we've inherited it from our parents, but rather we've borrowed it mm -hmm. from our children. Wow. What best can we do with it? Mm -hmm. And as I finish, buy Kenya, build Kenya. Thank you. Why can you look Kenya? Amazing. Yes. Thank you very much, Anthony, for mm -hmm. uh, such insightful uh, yeah. knowledge. Oh, you... Can I add one more thing? Yeah. A quote mm -hmm. that I shared also with the Finance and National Planning. Uh -huh. There's a gentleman who's called George Bernard Shaw. He once said, some people see things as they are and ask themselves why. So we are seeing things as they are, the finance bill and all that, mm -hmm. and, ask us themselves, and you ask why? themselves why. Mm -hmm. Other people dream of things that never were and ask themselves, why not? Wow. Let's dream of a life that is richer than Japan and Singapore co combined. For us, we can make it happen. That's the dream. Let's make sure this dream comes into reality. Wow. Thank you. Amazing. A lot of quotes. I've taken <laughs> that. And also, uh, uh, what the, the, this other one that you, you said. Um, uh, the people say the sky is the limit. I say the sky is my playground. <laughs> Welcome on board. The sky board. is your playground. <laughs> <laughs> and the, this is about need and greed. Oh, there is enough. Yeah, for, especially for, in Kenya. There is enough for everyone's need. There is enough need. for everybody's need. All Why of not? us, we can lead a lifestyle mm -hmm. of 800,000 per month. Mm -hmm. There is enough for everybody's need. But, but not, not enough, enough for, for everybody's, everybody's greed. greed. Wow, that's a heavy one. I'm taking that with me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We really appreciate <laughs> and value your company with us here. <laughs> thank you. So we have been talking about creating sustainable employment and uh, wealth for the youth. So if you're youth, you have understood that. We've done a lot of math here. Yeah, so I am better now with my calculations. <laughs> but all this mm -hmm. towards um, helping the government, at least advising that uh, the legislature uh, can do something to help Kenyans build our economy, use the resources that we have, have better plans, you know, uh, towards enabling us as citizens. So thank you for staying in for the interview. There's much more to come right after this break. The hashtag is Why the Morning at Y254 Channel. My name is Stephanie Ayata.